doesn't matter if you're in high school, college, professional. When you see greatness, you know what it is. As an athlete, uh, he was simply better than everybody else on his level. Chris is definitely the fastest athlete, the strongest, and had the best sense of humor of anybody I've ever played with. He had all the natural skills that a great running back has, and he had a motor that just went and went and went. You could hand him the ball 40 times a game, and he won it again. He was just a workhorse that never ran out of steam. People also underestimated his strength. He never lifted, at least through high school. I know he lifted when he got to Maryland, but he was a freak of nature when it came to his, his leg strength. I think on the field, there was a general comfort level when Chris was in the backfield on the field. I mean, you knew you could play with and beat anyone on any given day with him in the Malvern Prep uniform. Off the field, he was great at keeping things light. Um, he's a comedian, and he's absolutely hilarious. He always kept the mood light off the field and you know, made everyone feel that he cared about them and put a smile on your face. I think Chris you know, led by example. He wasn't a vocal leader. How can you not follow someone after he basically made 11 players on the other, the other team miss him and run for a touchdown? Our toughest test in 1997 as far as the Interact went was definitely Germantown Academy. Chris, I believe, had 298 yards rushing in that game, uh, plus an 80-some yard touchdown run. And a lot of those rushing yards were not on one or two long runs. I mean, he was breaking off 10, 20, 25 yards at a time. And it was one of the more amazing athletic performances I've ever, I've ever seen where he was just combining his speed and his strength. Uh, and he really carried us that game. I believe we did win 24-21. And I think at the end of the game, Gamp even said, thank God and thank God for Chris Downs. I think Malvern's Hall of Fame is, is, is better for it. I think not only are you getting a great athlete, you're also getting a great person. And for him, I think it's well deserved. If you look at the City of Philadelphia records, his records at Malvern Prep, his records in the Interacademic League, I don't know of any better candidate that should go into the Malvern Hall of Fame that's not in than Chris Downs.